Mods for Minecraft 1.19.2. In this video, we're going to go over exactly how to download them and install them. However, we are assuming that you already have Forge. Forge is the mod loader that allows the mods to work once they're in Minecraft. So if you don't have Forge yet, pause this video and then go watch this tutorial. It is the second link in the description down below, and it's our in-depth guide on getting Forge. It says 1.19.1 here. The reason for that is the 1.19.2 version isn't out when I'm recording this, but it will be when you're watching it. So that will be up here at the top. We also have this in-depth text tutorial that goes over every single part of getting Forge. So go check this out, go through this tutorial, get Forge installed, and then once you have Forge, come back to this video where we can get some mods. Now, first things first, you need to download mods, right? There are tons, thousands of mods out there, and in the description down below, we have CurseForge link. CurseForge is a very popular mod hosting platform, and once you're here, you can actually change your version to uh, 1.19.2 and see all the mods that are updated to Minecraft 1.19.2. Now, one thing worth mentioning is that the mods we're installing in this video are Forge mods. They're for Forge if you want to get Fabric mods. There's two mod loaders. Forge and Fabric. If you want Fabric mods, then go ahead, search up how to install Fabric mods and we'll pop up. Our video will be there on YouTube and you can go and, you know, watch that and get Fabric mods. However, for Forge mods, let's dive on into it. In this video, we're going to be installing three specific mods, technically two and then one compatibility mod, but Xero's Minimap is one of those mods. So go to the description down below if you want direct links to these, but once you're here, click the download button. It takes us to Curve Forge, where you want to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down. Now, one thing I want to mention is Xero's Minimap is for both Fabric and Forge. So as you can see, we have Forge here and we have Fabric. We want to download the Forge 1.19.2 version. Right there it is. So go ahead, click the download file button and the download will begin after a few seconds. While that's downloading, help out a mess from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to so your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love it to Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex, and should you want to add mods to your server, you can do so at Apex super easily. You can also add plugins, and if mod packs are more your thing, they have over 200 mod packs with one-click installation. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Nonetheless, Xero's minimap has now downloaded in the bottom left. For any Minecraft mods, you may need to keep them in the bottom left Google Chrome or save them in the stream of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Either way, that is perfectly normal. We're also going to download all of the biomes you'll go. This is basically a additional biomes mod. It adds in tons of amazing biomes, over 80 biomes to Minecraft. It's similar to actually Biomes of Plenty, but it's got other biomes in addition to Biomes of Plenty biomes. It doesn't have Biomes of Plenty biomes. It has just amazing biomes in it. Nevertheless, amazing biomes that are added. I mean, look at some of these. Look, look at that. Seasonal 4. Beautiful breathtaking biomes. There's also nether and end biomes, by the way, so yeah, but amazing stuff. And nevertheless, to download this, you will find the link in the description down below where you can come over to the right-hand side, scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section, and then you want to download the Forge 1.19.2 version, which is uh, the first one here. Click that download button, and the download will begin after a few seconds, exactly like with other mods. However, this mod requires Terra Blender. Terra Blender, also linked below, is a mod that allows bio mods to work in Minecraft, basically, right? So this is kind of all you need to know about that. It's linked in the description down below. Same process, right-hand side. Scroll down and click the download button for the 119.2 Forge version, right like so. Once that's downloaded, we can move on to installing these mods. So boom, it is now downloaded. There we go. So we minimize our browser. I'm going to move all these mods to our desktop just because it's easier to use them on your desktop. So click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. And in here, you'll find all of your mods. So we have, we move them to our desktop. Oh, the biomes you go, Xero's minimap, and Terra Blender. There they all are. Let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. I'm assuming you already have Forge installed, right? Either you have the Forge installation that you created yourself, or you have this one, right? The one that's there by default. Doesn't matter which one you have. You just need to launch up Minecraft with Forge by clicking play, clicking play again, and then Minecraft's going to open up with Forge. If you don't start Minecraft with Forge, you need to. It's not going to work. You have to have Forge installed and working for your mods to be able to be installed successfully and to work in Minecraft. So yeah, but once we're on the Minecraft main menu, it's actually super easy to install mods. From here, just click on the uh, mods button and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that was from the main menu with Forge installed, mods, and then open mods folder in the bottom left. Then drag and drop any mods you want to install into this folder. Again, though, you want to make sure they're Forge version and they're 1.19.2 because if they're not, they're not going to work, right? So they have to be for 1.19.2 and they have to be the Forge version. Also, 1.19.1 mods can usually work in 1.19.2, but that any issues, and that's the case here with Xero's minimap. But nevertheless, there we go. That is now installed, but they're not here, and they're not going to be here until you click done and quit Minecraft. Open up the Minecraft launcher, click play, and uh, click play again, right? So basically, click play with the Forge installation, right? Make sure Forge selected. Click play on this uh, pop-up. Hold up. 
play and then play again. However, if uh, you don't have Minecraft working when you do that, let's say for whatever reason, a mod you may have installed the wrong version. For whatever reason, Minecraft's not working with the mod install. How do you fix that? Well, go to installations, then hover over the Forge installation. By the way, you might need to check modded to make it appear. And then click the folder. That's going to open this up. And in here, you'll find a mods folder. If we open that, there are all of our mods. So that's how you can access your mods folder without opening Minecraft. Super helpful if you're having issues with mods, right? Let's say a mod is broken, something like that. Minecraft won't open. That's how you can get to your mods folder without opening Minecraft. Nevertheless, though, if we click play on Forge, click play again, now Minecraft will open up and our mods will be installed. It's that simple to get them up and running. We'll show them, obviously, in the main menu, but we'll jump in game as well and show you them there, too, just to show that everything is, in fact, working as it should. It's also worth noting that if you do have any issues with getting mods, usually it's a version mismatch. Usually it's not the 1.19.2 version of mods. It could be a different version. Also keep in mind that some mods only support some Forge versions. It can get very nitty gritty. So that's why if you do have an issue, we actually recommend reaching out to the developer of that mod because they may have some insight into why it's not working. But if we go to mods here, we have Terra Blender, Xero's Minimap, and Oh The Biomes, you'll go. If we jump into single player, I've got an Oh The Biomes, you'll go world here just so you can, you know, we can easily load into it instead of having to create a world. It speeds things up basically. That's, that's what it does. So here we are. We're loading in game. What's cool about Oh The Biomes You'll Go, you don't have to do any selection or anything. It just it just works, right? And immediately you can see we are in a, uh, in a, in a custom biome here. This is a custom biome. Look at the trees there. We can obviously go ahead and open up the F3 menu and check our biome as well here. Where is it at? There we go. BYG, Biomes You'll Go, and then it says what it is. So this is a Cardinal Tundra. If we move over to this way, we're going to be able to switch biomes. Wait for it. I think right over here is something different, right? Wow, Cardinal Trunda. It's actually really cool. It's very different than what I was expecting. But if we come over here, we'll be in a, yet another biome. And you can just kind of move through all of these. It's amazing how the different biomes work. You've got default Minecraft biomes in there, but uh, wow, that's insane. I want to show over here and see what this one are. So this is a Maple Taiga biome. And then if we move over into here, this is just a Z Zelkov Forest. What are, what are these? Hold on. That's insane. It's just like cliffs. <laughs> it's just cliffs. Can you walk up these? Like, uh, not really. You can't really walk up them. And then there's just like a tree at the top. <laughs> oh man, this is an awesome mod. It adds in some really crazy biomes, honestly. They call this the uh, Fragment Forest. I must say, I, I can see it. I can see it. So nonetheless, that's how you can add mods to Minecraft 1.19.2. If you do have any questions about mods, let us know in the comment section down below. And check this mod out. All the biomes you go is amazing. It, by the way, it, don't add it to a world that you uh, plan on keeping for a long time. Not because the mod's unstable, but because, uh, well, you'll need to make sure the mod is updated for it to continue working. If you're okay with that, then go ahead and add it, but don't add it to like a, a world you've been using for decades because it might uh, have issues. Truthfully, don't add mods to worlds you've been using for decades in general because uh, it can cause issues. So nonetheless, be careful of that. But anyway, that's how you can add mods. <laughs> it's, it's insane. What is this like a, uh, hold on, I bet this is a, I'm, I'm misclicking. This is some sort of rose forest. Yeah, rose fields. Yeah, wow. Look at that. It's crazy. Love it. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. Check out Apex Minecraft hosting to start your own server. If you want to add Oh the Biomes, you go to a Minecraft server. You can uh, you can do that, and you can get some of these uh, some of these awesome awesome biomes with your uh, with your friends as well. But um, is that added? But I mean, I know that I I've never seen one of these exposed. I don't think that's really cool. See you in the next video. My name's Nick, and I'm out. Peace.